Hey, it's Rashida. I thought I would do a quick flip through of my art journal pages. I did do a flip through a couple of months ago, so I just thought I'd show you the few pages that I've done since then. So I think um, this is just a quick recap because because I've shown these pages already. Um, let's see. I think I left off. Maybe, maybe around here. So I don't remember everything that I've done to the pages. And I need to start writing it down. I know there are several um, mixed media professional artists who do like an index of what they actually use. So I think I need to do that so I can remember what I actually did. Um, so I did do some misting and I used stencils and some texture paste here. And I did some stamping here. Um, I think this might be like watercolor in the background, maybe dilution, dilutions paints. Um, here I think I did use dilutions, like stenciling along with dilution paints. And this page, it was just a page that I just like um, cleaned off my stencils and things like that. So I went back and I added just... A little bit of uh, delusion paints here and there with the purple and um, the blue I think this is Liquitex paint so I could potentially come back to this page and you know do more texture or whatever to it so that's how it looks for now this page I just added this is from a paper wishes catalog and because I did some pink in here and a little bit of uh, purple, I thought it would be nice to collage this on here. So that's what I did. And if you notice, I don't know if you can tell, but I took my punch, one of my EK Success punches, and I punched the edge just to give it a little bit of uh, texture, you know, different, um, just make it look a little different. So. And here I added some of the, what do you call it, drywall tape. So, and on this page, I wanted to see if I could actually do a little bit of journaling. I haven't been really, like, adding words and, like, actual journaling to my pages beforehand. So that's what I did to this page. I did some stamping, added some washi tape. Um, I used some of the pearl pens here. And this is uh, a stamp by Studio Calico, uh, Alpha Stamp. So, um, so yeah, had fun with that page. And I think I added some rub-ons as well. That's a Prima Doll stamp. And this page, just more paint, more um, stenciling, and um, I don't remember what I actually did. But the pages are starting to feel like canvas almost. So it, the paint added like a really nice texture to it. So yeah, just different colors. Um, red, blues, greens, that sort of thing. And here, I was trying to play around with those Dr. Phil Martin's... I think they're inks, like they come in like a little container with a dropper. And they're very fluid. So... You can tell here, you know, that I was trying to use those, and it, it didn't actually work out like I wanted it to. But that's okay because, I mean, now that I know that they are very fluid, I know how to handle them now. So, and this is just a quote I think that I got off of Pinterest. Here, just some more paint. I think I used a brayer to put some of this paint on, and to me, this looks like a aquarium. I know I have to use my imagination with these. Things, but um, if you go to like an actual aquarium and if you go up to like the window like if you can visualize like this is the outside part of the window of the aquarium and like the inside is the actual aquarium that's what I'm seeing when I look at it so um, yeah just paint I tend to go toward pinks and blues just because those are like my favorite colors when it comes to art journaling um, not necessarily like the a true blue but like the turquoise blue and um, yeah along those color lines 
here I did some stenciling, um, painted the background first, of course, and yeah, I think this was, I think this is a Studio Calico stencil, if you can tell, it's like a, like a wheel or graph, and the other stencil with the dots, I think is Prima. Here I used some watercolors, uh, another stencil, this eye stencil is from Balzer Designs, I believe. So yeah, just had lots of fun and um, used watercolors with that. And I added a little bit of texture paste here, if you can tell it's a little bit raised. On this page I used the Art Anthology paints and they are dimensional. When they dry they add dimension and so I don't know if I need to go back and seal this page with something because it does stick together and I, I do find that some of my pages do stick together which is okay but it may start to be a problem if if it starts to peel too much like if you can tell that so I think they make um, products or mediums that seal things so it does not stick so and I may be able to just go over it with um I don't know maybe a gel medium of some sort so I'll have to work that out but this is a stencil by Dilusions and uh, I just used the art anthology paints with that stencil and I added some mist um, more than likely it was Dilusions mist that I added and some yellow paint. I don't know if that was by accident, but there are some, you know, places of yellow, as you can see. This page, more watercoloring, more stamping. Um, these were supposed to be flowers, and I didn't have an actual, um, like the petal or the stem of the flower. So this is the Prima Doll Wings. So I just used those, you know, as part of the flower. I did some stamping, just add some texture. This is an Amy Tangerine stamp. So, yeah, I like how that turned out. More stenciling, more texture paste. I wanted to use texture paste just to make this look like a uh, like a sky um, with the stars. And so that's why I added purple and some pink. I think that's with Dilutions sprays. And um, the stencil, I cannot remember. This might be a Prima stencil. But, um, yeah. So it's raised because of the texture page. So I had fun with that. This page, I started out doing some collaging of papers. And um, I added some of the drywall tape. Now, the drywall tape, I added... First, and then I added everything else on top of that, including the paint. And then I went back over with my Fabric Castell pit pen. And the pit pen is really awesome because once I outline the drywall tape, it looks as though I added the drywall tape last. That's how much the pit pen just makes things pop up off the page. But in actuality, this was one of the first things I put down on the page. So the pit pen just makes a world of a difference in terms of adding um, dimension and texture and things like that. Uh, this page, um, more stamping. I did use some Liquitex paint, I think. I used uh, the stamps that I got from um, the company from the UK. I cannot remember the name of it now. Um, but Paper Artsy, yes. So I used some of those stamps. Um, I used a Glitz roller stamp to add like the texture with the pink. So that was fun. And here I just practiced with watercolor. I don't know if you guys watch um, Inet Kessler. She does Saturday Mixed Stra mix Media Stravaganza, I think it's called. But one Saturday she was working with watercolors. And she inspired me to get out my... Um, Prima watercolor pencils, and that's what I use for this page. So, and you know, none of my pages are really complete per se, but it's just nice to um, flip through and see what I actually, um, you know, what my creative mind was thinking for that particular day and see whether I use paints or watercolors or whatever. 
Now this page, I started out using um, different colors of, of paint, like pink and purple and things like that. And as you can see, it created this green mud color. And I thought, well, let's just make this page like a jungle because it's what it looks like. So what I did after it dried, I went back and I used a stencil. As you can see, the face here, that's a stencil. So it's kind of representing of like being in the jungle. Um, you know as a person or whatever and then on this side I just wrote some lyrics from Guns N' Roses you know welcome to the jungle and this looks uh, quite a bit busy to me so I think I'm gonna go back and like add some tissue paper over this just to tone some of that down but you will still be able to see the lyrics because I do want the lyrics to be on here but I mean this is just way too busy i don't mind this part but it's just this side is just a little bit too busy for me so i'll go back and do that um here i used a brayer some stamping you can tell the texture that the brayer adds here uh, so yeah stenciling as well i think that was a delusion stencil with the numbers i like numbers and alphas um, especially in art journaling they just add that graphic um, design to pages and here this is a cutout from a magazine and I started out with a base coat of yellow acrylic paint I think it was by Liquitex and I just did some stamping with um, let's see I think this is a Natalie Kolbach stamp and so yeah just a fun page to do and that's it so I have just a few more pages to work on and uh, and then I think I might start in my smaller dilutions journal that I have once I finish this so yep that's it thank you for watching